hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Lydia here yeah, I want to share with you about the thing you need to avoid to, to your hair product so my yeah, I'm sorry for my English my English is not good I'm from Tanzania that we don't use English language right? we only speak Swahili so I'm sorry if you don't understand me and think I will get my point if you're new here you're most welcome uh, I wanted to share with you guys I know that uh, people are outside the country so I want to share with you by using this language I hope that you understand my English all right so if you didn't subscribe to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't for don't forget to give it a thumb up and don't forget to comment or comment down section down below like my channel is that uh, is called rainbow nasi uh in english you can say that uh, natural and beautiful yes uh in this video i want to share with you guys the ingredients you need to avoid to your hair product and many companies nowadays they adding more chemicals that are very toxic and dangerous to our skin and and hair adding those chemicals that may damage your hair or cause an effect to your skin right so there are some components that if you use or if you put to your skin or maybe your hair scalp they not only leave a damage to environment they also leave a damage to your hair to your skin and so today we are going to learn about that about those ingredients that you need to to know about them before you buy any hair care product where you can see those ingredients to the product so this is among us of your hair product you may go to the shop and you want to buy such kind of product so before you buy it you need to go to the label let's see the label where the there's ingredients so here are some ingredients i think that you can see there are ingredients so there are some chemicals they may add it to this product they might be uh, harmful to your skin or to your hair so the, the amount of eight ingredients that we are going to learn today you should avoid your hair care product and that we are talking about shampoo and conditioners all right so let's go and learn those among us eight ingredients you need to avoid your hair care products all right so the first ingredient is a surface so surface is a chemical component that causes your shampoo to form as you massage it 90 percent of natural hair products contain it so if you use a shampoo that contains sulfates once you rinse out it is strip all your natural oil moisture and color and may cause irritation uh, dryness the flocking behind it and sometimes it may cause uh, kidney damage uh, look on the label uh, about this component I would like down here if I didn't pronounce it well so you can you can read down below okay so avoid the couple like ammonium lowly sulfate i'll write down below so you can you can read it ammonium lowly sulfate so the second ingredient is parabens this is another pop extreme popular and um food it's found in many name brand shampoos and conditioners it's also known as xeno estrogens i read here if i didn't pronounce it well okay they can disrupt your hormone balance cause irritations and affect your reproductive health. So unfortunately, when you go to, to the market or to buy any product, you won't see uh, a list listed by a uh, well the parabens. Instead, you will see these words and I'll write down here and you will see and read. Instead of parabens, when you choose your right product, you need to look uh, uh, the word that ending with parabens, you need to avoid that product. For example, beauty paraben, ethyl parabens, and methyl parabens. Polyethylene glycol is the next ingredient you should avoid to your hair care products. It's a sickening agent that made from petroleum. When you use products containing this, it can cause it to strip your hair, your natural oil, moisture, and color. Also, it causes irritations, breakage, damage, or disruption of your hormone balance. Also, it may cause cancer. Yeah, you need to avoid such kind of product that contain these ingredients. It is a tricoster. This ingredient has been banned from being used as antibacterial, and it may found to the shampoo, conditioner, and deodorant, soaps, toothpaste, and more. This ingredient can cause infertility, fatal harm, immune system issue, weight loss or gain, depression and control this cellular repro reproduction and lead it to cancer so you need to avoid such kind of ingredients to your hair care products or your products natural skin products or hair products you need to avoid this formaldehyde 
It can be found in so many shampoos and conditioners. It can be leave-in conditioner, it can be a deep conditioner, it can be a conditioner, right? So this additive, it can cause toxicity, effect, it can cause asthma, and has been linked with to cancer. When checking the label on your product, look for the word Aquatinium 15. This is a synthetic flaglance in color. These ingredients are terrible in every way. It can cause a harmful to your skin and can cause severe health issues. So chemicals used to create a fragrance can cause infertility, irritation, hair loss, asthma, and lead to cancer. Cara is derived from the petroleum in the core tar. Those two things are, are known to cause a range of health issues. So when checking the level, look for the word uh, F, D, and C, or D and C combined with numbers. So number seven is bainite cone. I think I'll write here and you will, you will understand what I'm talking about. So this product uh, will dry out your hair in the wrong line. And cause build up to your skin, I mean to your roots, cause irritation to your uh, scalp or burn. So build up to your, to your skin or your scalp. Um, it broke the moisture and nutrient to fall to your skin or your scalp. And this may cause, it may create an abundance of residue and dirt that, and dirt that can clog your pores. Last ingredient is retinally permitted. It's known to cause a list of health issues like uh, itchy, peeling, burning, redness to your skin or your scalp. This harmful ingredient has been linked to cancer, reproductive problems, and toxicity. So you need to avoid all such kind of ingredients to your hair care products or your skin care products. So guys, I'm done with the video. I think those uh, will help you to avoid uh, toxic and dangerous ingredients or uh, products to your hair. If you avoid those ingredients, it will help to achieve a healthy and good hair. I mean, yes. So I think that will help you to achieve uh, a healthier hair, strong and longest hair. So thank you for watching this video. TVN is an end. Don't forget to give it a thumb up and share to your friends. I think that you you understand me. Thank you very thank you very much and bye.